Hi everyone, Mook here at Mook's Treasure Trove. Unfortunately, this flea market footage ends a little abruptly. My old GoPro could not handle five hours of recording. I have since gotten a new one and better quality videos are on the way. So if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you've been here a while, I appreciate all the support over the last year and a half. You guys are great. I am definitely an entertainment channel and not educational. Please do not buy what I buy. As you can see, it's all still here in my death pile. If you want to see me on camera more to review, to go over stuff, let me know down below. And I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you all on the next pick. How you been doing? Good? Yeah, pretty good. Lots of duties. This is a uh, Edition. The new ones are coming out. I can't buy that. I'm good. And we saw him. So do you want to let's loop back this way and around? I think that good. way. Okay. Yeah. I just sold that bus for twelve dollars. No, thank you. Which one? Are you looking it up? Oh my Jesus. What is going on? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh wow, look at this thing. Eight each? Yeah, I think so. What do you got on the controllers? Make me an offer. <laughs> okay, if I'm at eight and eight. I was gonna say 25 for all of it if this was 18. Okay, that's fine. Cool. These Nancy Drews might be good though. Oh, they're PC games. Is there a price on these? Are you getting all those? Yep. Are they good? 30 bucks a piece. You guys are professionals, at least I can tell. Entrepreneurs, that's right. We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> Some days work better than others. Yep. Yeah. All right. We have fun nice. doing it. Okay. How much are the games? Maybe I'll put this in a bag. Thank you. <laughs> Every time you listen to them, you left. Yep. <laughs> Not for that much. R2 popcorn maker, that's awesome. STS Basic Atari.
Yeah. 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 series ad, the TV, yeah, DVD. Yeah, I know the TV. I'm looking for that. That yeah. would go with it. I've got the cordless phone, but I'm keeping that. that that's so. nice, yeah. I, I'm assuming these work? Yes. Yeah. Should have asked that before I paid, but, you know. They, yeah, they have been tested. How much is that? Where's my guy over there? Guys, I love Power Rangers, I love Pogs. You don't have any more of this, do you? Sealed stuff? I don't think so. This is my daughter's. Oh, uh, okay. Does she have these Pogs, Mark? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think it was a Walmart price. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Did you did, did you follow these online? A little bit. I, I just bought the full game earlier today. Yeah, I, the, some of the package. Yeah, no, okay. Crazy. Yeah, I have some of the Apollo stuff sealed. Yeah. I do like, is there a price I on that I got 25 on that. That's obviously oh, oh, Jesus, I can't see. I missed all the prices. These are five or six. Five a piece, and how about these? There was, there was four of these over there. Did you, did I, I only saw those two. I did not. I can't do that for 40. I like it, but not for 40. I like these pogs. I didn't realize how much they were. I do 30. 30 for those two. Well, that'll work. Yeah. I would do 10 for all that. Yep, that'll work. That good? 40? Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Just to give you a 50. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, no this, this is a blow up. Inflatable Bex bottle. What I think it's a bottle. Yeah, it's a bottle. What do you want for it? Five good. How about three? How about four? We'll meet in the middle. Meet you. All right, guys. We second and Rob. This is now our third trip in. We've been here for four hours. I've spent around four hundred dollars. And Ken has spent a lot less at one eighty. They're still here. Oh, hang on, look it up. Now, do you just want... Oh, wait, are they somewhere gone? One, it's gone. Oh, my God, my red He sold it, he sold it by itself. Wow. Oh, yeah, that one's broken. Damn, you should have tried I screwed up. You should have grabbed that. YouTube, I screwed up. Ken screwed up, everybody. He should have bought it. So another successful year at the Guptals Flea Market, year two for me. I'm going to go back every year. And this year I went with a reseller buddy. It was great to go with him. Not a lot of competition, not a lot of things overlap between us that we pick. So it was really great to just go and relax and have a good time. We might have been there early, but we definitely got some great things. It is a remote control boat, and at first I thought the controller inside was not the right one. It technically isn't, but it is a universal one that will work with this. The boat is a little yellowed. If I can test it and it's working, I might get two to 250. I grabbed this sign, they had it at 50. I got them down to 35 and I think I can get between one and 150. I grabbed a lot of Power Ranger items. They're definitely for myself. I collect all the old vintage Power Ranger stuff. I thought this stuff was great, especially the pogs. And even the Star Trek stuff for a dollar. I'll probably keep. They're not worth a lot. Took a gamble on these miniature items. They were in a tote all together for $5. I took a couple quick photos on eBay. And they sell between $15 and $20. Maybe $40 for the lot. Unfortunately, um, the Bugs Bunny light is not working. The clock does work with a new battery. I might just try to change that bulb down there. But he did tell me it was supposed to be a black light. And it's not working. A crazy buy and one of my first ones for $90 were these four board games and the Pog game. 
I think I'm going to give the pod game to a coworker who has been asking me to find one for him. But these board games were a surprise. The only one I really looked up was the Middle Earth one. And I think if this is close or fully complete, it is in the $1 to $150 range. Very cool game. Uh, these other two, not so much. Maybe about $40 a piece. Same with the Warlock and Warriors. But in there, I'm missing the dice and pieces. But as a surprise was this manual. It only sells between $5 and $10 for that game. But the big score and surprise was the King Arthur's Knights game. It is all unpunched with the map. And the only thing I'm missing is the box itself. And I think, again, I can get between $1 and $150 alone just for that. The board games themselves would give me my money back. The sign, I believe around $1, $150. And the boat, again, would be close to my money back. I don't think I need to sell a lot to break even. And that also goes with this beer sign as well. Only paid 35 I think I can get close to 100 At the end here, I grabbed two Yu-Gi-Oh pillowcases and a twin sheet and pillowcase for turtles. I think $40 from the seven I spent I can get for them. They look to be in really nice condition for their age. As a joke, we were scanning uh, some PC games. My other friend there scanned a crappy PC game that only came out as a couple of bucks. And I grabbed a Nancy Drew one and they told me they sell between $10 and $15 in this condition. So I grabbed all the Nancy Drews and they were a dollar a piece. So I didn't mind that. Grabbed a couple VHSs were only a dollar as well. And then there were just some small items that I just grabbed. Personal collection, Crash Bandicoot stuff is nice. Toy Story, little alarm clock. Uh, I grabbed a little... Um, Ornaments and Power Ranger things for myself. Thought Dino Riders would be a little better. The condition, even for four dollars, I'd probably only get fifteen if I'm lucky. Good condition, go for forty. I got the hats again. If I haven't covered them already, they were pretty good. Uh, the Disney stuff goes with that big tube TV that also has a VCR and DVD player. If I ever find the TV, I'm keeping these, keeping that. Kind of a cool collection. And the pinball machine. Uh, they had $35 on it. This is just a little kid's version. A lot of plastic. Um, they had 35 I offered 20 She countered back at 22 It is working. I got it working. The middle had come off where this spins. And that was a quick few little fixes. And I played it. It's, it's goofy. But I think I get maybe 100 bucks again for it. So all in all, maybe $1,000 in profit if I don't keep as much stuff. Maybe a little more if I get lucky. I had a great time at Guptals. I'm gonna go back every year. I gotta get a little bit better and not picking for my collection and trying to just find items for resale. But everybody this year, some of their prices were really high. So everybody, I appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you think I'm crazy and I overbought or if I missed anything. And I'll see you guys on the next